Hello, my name is Kimberly. I am with the Ohio Literacy Everywhere Project. Today I'm going to read A Very Special Vegetable by Anna W. Bardaus, illustrated by Carolina Farias. Thank you for listening. Keep on reading. Nico was a little boy with a big appetite. What did he like to eat, you might ask? He liked to eat everything. But what Nico loved to eat most was a meal with friends. One day, as he was walking to the market to buy some food, Nico met a traveler with a cart full of interesting things. I think I just know just what to give you, she said to Nico and handed him a seed. Carefully, Nico planted his seed in the sunniest, warmest, happiest spot he could find. And as he tucked it into the earth, Nico imagined all of the delicious things he might grow. Carrots with a chompy crunch, tomatoes full of dribbly juice. Bright and colorful sweet potatoes in orange, white, garnet, and purple. Scalloped patty pan squash that look like UFOs. Green beans that go crisp, snap, long fingers of okra, and the satisfying pop their seeds make between his teeth. Every day, Nico watered his seed and waited, and waited, and waited. But as winter turned into spring and spring rolled into summer again, Nico began to believe his seed would never sprout. One warm day, Nico sat enjoying a splendidly messy beet. And just like that, he noticed something green poking out of the dirt. The next day, it had grown a lot. By the seventh day, it was simply enormous. The bigger the plant got, the more people came to see it and to guess what might be growing underneath those colossal green leaves. I wonder if it's a giant radish, said one. They have such a hot and tangy crunch. Or it could be a peppery turnip, said another. They both grow underground. I wish it were a tomatillo plant. The fruits dangle in such lovely green husks, like tiny paper lanterns. Oh, it could be an eggplant, though no. They grow from star-shaped flowers. It certainly can't be cabbage or asparagus. Kabocha flowers look like golden trumpets. Perhaps a zesty parsnip, asked another. A flaky potato, red or gold or russet, said a second. I'd guess a cassava, a third chimed in. I think surely it's a taro, a fourth exclaimed. It cannot be crispy, crunchy, creamy lotus root because they only grow in water. But oh my, I wish that it, it was. As the neighbors talked, the plant grew. Before long, it was as tall as the trees. You had better pull it up now, Nico, said a man. Soon it will be too big to harvest. So Nico wrapped his fingers around the great green leaves. They were soft and strong and made his fingers tingle. But try as he might, the plant would not budge. We'll help, offered some children nearby, and they pulled until they had used up their breath. But the plant stayed stuck. More neighbors joined in until at last everyone was working together. 
and together they tugged and they pulled and they pulled and they tugged. And finally, with a satisfying pop, up came the most unusual vegetable the town had ever seen. Why, that was a very special vegetable, said someone in the crowd. And it was a very special vegetable indeed.